Hello and welcome to the Farmer's Kitchen. Hello, Mrs. Farmer. Mr. Farmer. We're ravishing tonight as usual. So are you. You know what? We're getting a lot of new viewers mm -hmm. and people come on Facebook and different places and say, hey, are y'all married? Well, we don't wear our rings while we're cooking. That's right, because I get because it all messed up. You get, you know, it gets messy like that. That's right. But yes, we are married. We have 1,700 grandchildren. Yes, we do. I wish. I wish we did. <laughs> we do. We're, we're hoping for that. Yeah. But anyhow, tonight we're doing stuff that is fun. That's right. Good to eat. Just flat out fun and mm -hmm. good to eat. Mm -hmm. Healthy, that's, too. Oh, oh, yeah. Real healthy. <laughs> Now, one thing, I've already got some oil here that's already got some color to it. What's that mean? That You've means we've already been playing? Yes. I had an idea the other day I really wanted to try. We tried some chicken one time, and I put something on it. That's that right. It ended up really good. Yes. You wouldn't think that. But we're going to do some fun and tasty wings. Mm -hmm. This is fun food. Whether you got friends coming over and you just want to do right. some fun stuff, whether you're watching a ball game, whatever it is. Or it's midnight and we're starving. Exactly. That's right. <laughs> you got to do what you got to do. But the thing that's the most lengthy today, when we're doing a television show, you got to start with that. Right. This is lengthy, mm -hmm. but my mouth is watering right now. Mm -hmm. We're this starving. This is beautiful, wonderful. This is lamb, but you could use pork, you could use uh, beef. Right. Go any way you want. But, but this lamb's is got lamb. a good taste to it. What are you making, Mrs. Farmer? I'm making lamb meatballs. Kind of Greekish. I like a Greek meatball. Okay, now the sauce that you're making is mm -hmm. absolutely fantastic. You could use different kinds of jellies. Right. To not using grape. You could right. use currant jelly, mm -hmm. but we're using grape. And Thank a you. pinch this, of bourbon, a pinch of bourbon. A pinch too. of bourbon. This right. is phenomenal. So I'm gonna shut up okay. so you can get started because I want some of these do you? bad. Okay. <laughs> Tell us how to do it. All right, a lot of times people will mix the lamb with the burger because of the taste, but we mm -hmm. kinda I like the taste of the lamb. Yeah. Don't you like yeah. the lamb? All right, how we're gonna start. I actually have some panko breadcrumbs here. All right. Here's my, this is one pound of lamb, and this is about a third of a cup of panko breadcrumbs. Gotcha. And I'm also going to throw some feta in here. Ooh. This is about a third of a cup of feta. Let's give it that grease. And I'm getting my chopper out. I haven't had it out in a while. And we're going to put, I have a small onion. Gotcha. Or you could just do maybe a third of a large onion. From our CSA. What is a CSA? You know what a CSA Mr. is. Mr. Farmer, what is it? It is Community Supported Agriculture, which means there are places around the country where you can actually go to them and say, hey, I want to buy your produce. You can pick them up different places. That's but wonderful. we don't have room to grow a big bunch of garden stuff because we've taken all our space for lamb. That's right. A lot of our space is for lamb. We raise cattle as well. But CSA is, if you can find one around your area, know what they grow. This is organic. There's no oh. sprays and nothing poison on it. Absolutely wonderful. And it's nice that we just pick it up and they've grown all that for us. CSA, look yes. one up. All right, I also have some garlic here I'm gonna put in, in my and little chopper. chopper. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I got, the cloves are little, so I'm gonna do two. So these are just meatballs, but the meatball right. sauce, once it's, oh, yes. once it gets going and you put all it together. It's, it's got a little Greek flair to it too, because mm -hmm. you got that little bit of that fat in there. All right, so I'm gonna chop this up. And I wanna get them real fine. Some, you can shred them too if you wanted, yeah. but I love my little chopper. Ta-da! Hey, if the electricity was out, we could make these. Yeah, we can still <laughs> make them. All right. And I'm going to add an egg in here. All right. To bind everything together. That's right. Beautiful. Smush that up. And I also have some parsley here. Fresh parsley. Yeah. And I'm going to put, I'm going to chop it just a little bit here. It's also nice to have your own little area. You can do this whether you live in the city. You can put it in your window. You can have parsley. You can have oregano. You can have basil. You can have you all know, kinds of that. dill. Yes. We grow this stuff ourselves right outside. You have a little antique shelf that we put them on. I do. And I'm going to bring that in for the winter, I think. That's right. I'll throw this in. And I got about a quarter cup of parsley. Gotcha. Now I'm gonna get my hands in here. This is why we don't wear our wedding yeah. rings on the show. Get all this mixed up. Mmm. Mm. Yummy. Mm. So Mrs. Farmer, I noticed the oven is on. Yes it is. I got it on 400 and we're gonna go from 25 to 30 minutes on these. Gotcha. You see my scooper? I'm gonna try to, that way it helps me keep them even. So if Beautiful. I, that way all my meatballs will be about the same. I'll tell you what, I love me some meatballs. Me too. And when you have folks over, say you're not having a huge meal, you're gonna watch a movie, you're gonna play cards or whatever. Yeah. You set these out and you put a little toothpick down after they've absorbed your absolutely wonderful That's sauce. That's right. Oh, I'm just Delish. telling you. Yeah, I'm just telling you. Don't those smell good? You smell that? And we haven't eaten for a long time. It's been at least an hour. <laughs> Another question uh, we get fairly often here is, is that really your kitchen? Is that your home? This is our home. This is where we cook. All right. And I got more, but let's just make us a tray of 12. What do you think? Do. We'll do the rest later. How long do you get? We're going to let those cook 25, 30 minutes on 400. Let's oh, watch them. That smells like heaven. So we're re 
reheating our oil. You gave me a taste earlier. That was so good. You know what? This is really excited. Hey, you remember the Asian wings that I made? Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at those. How did we make those, Mrs. Farmer? So what I'm going to do is take probably a third of a cup. This is for about 35 wings, if I had to guess, because right. I can eat 30 myself and you'll eat five. Oh, thanks. <laughs> and then we're going to come in with our Bangkok peanut sauce. That yeah. has got the peanut butter taste, and it's also got some spicy flavors, some ginger, and probably, I'm going to say, a tablespoon of that. You don't need a whole lot of that. You might want to go a little more. Then you're going to take some soy sauce. Now I'm going to put probably, oh, two tablespoons of soy sauce in there. Yeah. I'm going to come back with some sesame oil. This is largely for flavor and to thicken things up. Got to have that. And I'm going to put delicious. probably a three quarters of a teaspoon in there. I've never measured this. That's I'm going to take so some good. of our honey. And I'm going to put approximately I'm going to put probably a teaspoon, a heaping teaspoon. It means I get to eat it. Our honey, yep. Mm. It's all yours. Then we're going to take some brown sugar, and I'm going to probably put I don't know a tablespoon and a half of that in there, maybe two. <laughs> Three. Now, there's no calories in that. You believe that? That's delicious. So I'm going to take that over here. I'm going to heat that up on this burner. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat this up just a little bit, reduce it down just a little bit, and then I'm going to set it off to cool and let it thicken up. Almost forgot, red pepper flakes. Just Yummy. enough to give it a little bit. I don't want it to, to have a real burn. I just want to have a little, a little hint of heat in there. When it all comes together, we're going to bring a bowl out, pop our wings out. All right, now we're going to take our sauce and we're going to mix in this. Then we're going to come back with some sesame seeds, and we're going to just take those sesame seeds and just turn them over. It's going to stick to them, and it gives them a nice little flavor. It's subtle, but to add to the other flavors, it's absolutely beautiful. That's a good recipe, too. Maybe take a peek back. If you want to try these and have never tried them, oh my goodness, they're outstanding. Yeah. But we want to try some honey mustard-ish type things. Yeah. So I was thinking about my sauce, my glaze. Right. And I thought, okay, there's two different ways we can do this. And we have all kinds of mustard. We have some stone ground mustard. We have some sweet and spicy sandwich mustard that mm -hmm. I really like. Yeah. Then we have some Dijon. Uh, there's so many, and just regular yellow mustard. Yeah. So I did all kinds of combinations. And the two top winners were stone ground mustard with the Dijon and apple cider vinegar, Good. then the honey. That was good. I ate that with the spoon. That was really good. But it was, it, 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 you know, with the mustard and the vinegar, yeah, there's a lot it, of vinegar oh, there. Makes, it good. You know, makes your eyes light up a little bit. But the winner was, and we'll show you this in a minute, but it's the sweet and spicy mustard. Mm -hmm. Then we use a Chardonnay Dijon to mm -hmm. give it that nice little bite. And then we came back with some red wine vinegar, which was a little less bitey yeah. than the apple cider vinegar. And then we come back with our honey. So good. Outstanding. But what are we going to do with our wings, Mrs. Farmer? I don't know. What are you going to do? Show folks how you cut yours up. Of course, most right. people already know this, but yeah, when you there's, buy a, them. there's a bunch of folks that ask us, how do you do this? How do you do that? We forget sometimes that people are just starting to cook sometimes. We're finding folks, Nikki, in their 50s and 60s who are just starting to cook. Yeah, and I think fun. that's exciting. Yeah. I think that's fun. If you have a sharp knife, it goes through pretty good, but I like to break it. Don't you think? Break the bone. Yep, absolutely. See Get where the good cut broke. is. Go through the skin here. Because we're from Kentucky and we right. know people who knew Colonel Sanders. And one thing he even admitted, he soaked his chicken in milk or buttermilk. Yes, he did. Uh-huh. Now, one thing I want to do with my oil, I keep a very close watch on my oil. You do not want your oil to get to the 375-400 mark. Right. I actually, on my candy thermometer here, I actually start cooking at about 325. And I find... 325 to 340 in there, right. they, you won't get as burnt, as dark mm -hmm. an end product. So what we're doing today, this particular covering, it burns on a little dark. But it so makes I'm it keeping good. my oil down, but mm -hmm. it makes it really oh, it's good. Oh, so good. So, again, we don't like a whole lot of breading, but we do like to... Flavor the skin up. That's what you crisp do. It up. Yeah, and you make it crispy. So what we're gonna do, I have got, I have bought just a store-bought dry ranch mm -hmm. seasoning. Yeah. You can make dip out of it, whatever. Yeah. 
Now, we also make some of this ourselves. There's a homemade way you can make it as well. Mm -hmm. We make our own ranch dressing. You can look that up on our site as well. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to take that and we're going to put a little bit of cayenne in it just to give it a little heat. I want, I want a little heat in this. Nothing crazy. Just enough to get some heat in there. I'm going to mix that up. And we already put some tell cherry pepper in there. You gotta do that. You gotta have some black pepper in there. And yet, in fact, I probably need a little bit more because last weekend we went fishing. While we were gone, people thought that the Goodyear blimp was flying by. It was not the Goodyear blimp. It was the pepper bandit blimp. That's how he gets around now because it's quiet. He came over at night, no lights ran down a cord to our uh -huh. house, went down the chimney. I thought Santa was the only one who could do that. That's right. Comes in, grabs 14 pounds of teletary pepper. That is crazy. He runs off. I fired a warning shot. Good he dropped three pounds. Really? And he made it back into his dirigible. Wow. And off he went. They say he's in like Antarctica now. Wow. The pepper bandit is out of control. Now, as we say, when you do this breading, it burns in there a little hot, so I'm right. gonna keep my temperature down. And I'm gonna let those go for five to eight minutes in there. And all we're gonna do, now again, we put some cayenne pepper in here. What that does is that seasons that outside. With, it has a beautiful oh, tangy so flavor. Yeah. It's got the salt and it's got the pepper. Makes the meat delicious. Now, our oil's a little bit dark. That's because we had some earlier. You actually fed me before the show. I'm not starving, exactly. but I'm hungry, but I got a little snack, so that's good. But let me tell you what, this that's is kind of magic. And I'm sure I'm not the only person to ever think of this because we've tried it before on fried chicken mm -hmm. and it really adds something. Yeah. Think about what we got going tonight. You know, you know, usually we have an entree and we have, you know, maybe a soup or this is just flat out. Just eat everything, good snacks, stuff. yeah. Some nights, and a lot of times we eat dinner late. We usually have a late lunch. Very rarely eat breakfast. Have a late lunch, and a lot of times we end up hungry at eleven o'clock at night. <laughs> That's dinner. Next thing you know, we got some hot oil going. That's right. That smells pretty good. Doesn't it smell good? Yes, it does. Yum. Those look amazing. <laughs> I'm excited. Oh, Mrs. Farmer. Those look so good. And they smell delicious. Beautiful. Wonderful. Wow. And again, I went a little lower on the temperature. I'm not going all the way up to 375. Trust me on that. Look Yummy. at those, look at those. Oh. And they're perfect, like mm. you smell the spice on them. And remember, I put a little bit of cayenne in there. That looks so good. So look, oh, you could eat them like that, oh, yeah. Mrs. Farmer. Yummy. But let's put those in the oven, keep okay. them warm. And your meatballs are getting close, are they not? I think it's about time to pull those out too. Mm, mm, mm. Some of your meatballs. They smell good, don't they? We got all kinds of sauces to make. You probably need to make your first because you're going to kind of let them yeah, soak in. We'll there. let them set. This is a cup of grape jelly. Mm. I'm going to put that in. Let's do a half a cup of barbecue sauce. Well, this is our barbecue sauce. Yes, it is. Homemade barbecue That's sauce. That's right. So, grape jelly. Now, you could use currant jelly too, but this is grape yeah. jelly. Grape jelly makes it pretty good. Barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. Got a little bit of bourbon. How much do you mm -hmm. think I got here? That's probably a tablespoon. Okay. And I like mustard. Mm -hmm. About a tablespoon of any kind of mustard. That's I did, just Dijon. Yeah, I did that Dijon Chardonnay. Now we're just going <laughs> to let this boil up. And you know, you can taste it. I know when mom always says how much of this and that, I always taste it and see what it needs. You can add more jelly, you, you can add more anything. barbecue. It's perfect. It's beautiful. Mm. You like it? Yeah. It's already there? Yeah. Oh, and you can taste the bourbon. It'll cook down in there. Oh, this is good. So we'll get this so it's nice and thin, and then we're going to turn it real low. And you can even put it back in the oven if you wanted, but we can just leave it on the stove and roll low. So you're just going to leave those in the sauce? Yeah, we'll just let them sit in the sauce. I kind of got this, I wanted to melt that jelly into this. Yeah, it's pretty mm -hmm. much melted in. Let's turn it down real low on simmer. I'm going to put these meatballs in and some of the, you see the dark scrapings even? I'm going to oh, put yeah. some of that in there. Let's just let these soak in here. Yeah, that, uh, that bit of fat on that pan right there will not hurt that flavor at all. All right. And we'll just Beautiful. let those sit in there. And we'll have us some meatballs. <laughs> okay, here's what we're gonna do. Mm. My sauce. This is the one we voted to be the best. They were all good, but yeah, this is delicious. They were all good. This is really exceptional for for the wings. I'm gonna take equal parts of the sweet and spicy mustard mm -hmm. and the Dijon mustard, equal parts. And this is probably just a heaping tablespoon, I would say. Ms. Farmer, I'm gonna let you do that. Scrape those in. Scrape those in, if you will. 
Well, we're just adding to the sauce that we already made. That was the test run. And then we're gonna come back with equal parts honey. Where'd you get the honey? It's a local outfit and it's absolutely delicious. Some folks we met in Georgetown. May wipe that? Yes, please. I can try it for you. Mm. Now we're gonna take a little red wine vinegar. We tried apple cider vinegar. It was, it was almost a little bit much. This is a little more subtle. That's so good. We're gonna let that come to a slow, little tiny baby boil, then we're gonna cut it back. Oh my gosh, Nikki, we're all sauced up. Mm. Can I have mm. a taste of that? You can. See what you think. See if it needs anything. Needs nothing. Okay. Mm. You know, the bourbon gives it a nice little smoky. It does, doesn't flavor. it? Oh, mm. 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 <laughs> We're out of control, Mrs. Farmer. I'm starving. I'll tell you what, man, we'll start something else up, huh? Okay. You like bread. I do like bread. We're just going to cheat tonight. We're not making our own bread. Okay. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to take Scrapple. Mm -hmm. You know Scrapple You is? love Scrapple, yes. You've made it. This is beautiful, wonderful stuff. Now, most people think about Scrapple as Pennsylvania Dutch country. I got a buddy, Chris, who makes these. This is not Pennsylvania. This is Kentucky. Smell that. Oh, wow. That sounds <laughs> good. First of all, Miss Farmer, we're going to need a little bit of lard. Why? Is this delicious? Because that's what our grandparents used. You know, it's funny. We've said this a million times, but the science is changing. They're talking about different oils to cook with, so mm -hmm. on and so forth. When you break it down, they come to find out lard, that leaf lard, that mm -hmm. pure leaf yeah. lard, is really, really not bad for you. So I need to make more desserts. You need to make I always, more desserts. Because lard, <laughs> I need that for the desserts. So anyhow, we're gonna take a little bit of lard, and we're gonna take our scrapple here. Now wait till you smell the flavor come out. I'm excited. Yum, Papa. I'll tell you what let's do. Let's meet in the middle. You start okay. on that end, I'll start on this end. All right. You try that, I'll try this. Ready? And then we'll... Mm. Oh, wow. That's all mm. Mm. Now, one thing about these, you gotta like lamb. Yes, because I made it pure lamb. If you lamb. like lamb, you're gonna love oh. this. If you've never had lamb, you're gonna think, oh, that's got a different, different taste. taste. Now your scrap, that was delicious. Crunchy. Can I have a bite of that? Yes, so No, good. we gotta meet in the middle. We gotta right. play by the rules. Oh, wings? we met already. Here we Get go. Mm. Mm. I already knew those were good. Those are so good. The great thing about this, to me, you have not a lot of breading, mm -hmm. but you have a lot of flavor. It, it's like you do have breading. You get the, the salt the, yeah, and the good. flavor, and you taste all that seasoning on there. Then you add to the salty, flavorful, outside crunchy skin, right. that wonderful honey and mustard. That's pretty good. You that's put some lemon good. zest on there. All right, I gotta that's try lamb. That's not pretty good, that's outstanding. Delicious. I'm gonna try lamb, you're gonna try scrapple. Isn't that delicious? Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Wow. This is a great tray. Scrapple sliders. Yummy. Yeah, <laughs> a couple of years ago we were talking about beer cheese. Right. And I thought, you know what? I bet we can make some ourselves. Now this was this was a couple years back, right. but tonight, on the heels of this, let's go back and take a look at making your own beer cheese. And this was absolutely outstanding. It's delicious. All right, we're going to start this recipe with one pound of cheddar, extra sharp, and we're going to use a little bit less of some American cheese. You've already grated this and ground this up, or you can buy it prepared like this yourself. This is such an easy deal. We're going to put it in a food processor. We tried a mixer, but this works a lot better, doesn't it? You actually it have does. to cut that up and it breaks it down. Now, if you like it a little bit chunky, you can certainly do it that way. Now, we're gonna come back with three cloves of garlic right here, 
And I found the easiest way to get this in there quickly is just put it in a press and squeeze it out. And kind of spread it around. And that gives you that good garlic taste. All right, we're gonna come back with three tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Now, obviously, there are folks who do this for a living and make some really good stuff. And they're doing some, you know, some different things besides what we're doing. We're gonna put a little bit of dried mustard in there. Let's go about a teaspoon on that. Okay. Let's go a teaspoon of salt. And that's exactly a teaspoon. Mm -hmm. Now, if you choose, and I do, put a little cayenne pepper in that. You can put that in there now as we're mixing it up or you can put it on the top later. I'm gonna put a dash in there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of beer in there. It calls for about a cup. Any kind of beer? Does it matter? Um, any kind, I'm using a light beer on this one. Okay. And you can use any kind of beer you want. All right, you ready? Go. Nope. Yum. Mm -hmm. mm. This is very acceptable. And you can put this in your refrigerator and let it chill a little bit, but I'm telling you what, right out of the, <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't wait. That's delicious. That's beer cheese. Mm. And you can add what you like to that. That's mm. so good. Mm -hmm. mm. I could eat that with a spoon. And there you have a very acceptable, very tasty beer cheese, right wow. from the 1940s. Yum. That's delicious. That's absolutely acceptable, absolutely yummy. You can do it right in your own kitchen in a very short amount of time. Let's put this on. Because sometimes you just gotta have it. Yes. Now in Michigan, you would call this bar food. Yeah, bar food. Well, look at that. It's so good. <laughs> we, we're gonna destroy this in about two and a half minutes. Mm -hmm. But first I'm gonna tell you about our recipes. That's right. We have 26 gazillion. That's a lot. But if you want those recipes, Ms. Farmer, where would you find them? You find them on timfarmerscountrykitchen.com. Absolutely. Also hit the little red button, subscribe. Mm -hmm. That way, if we have something new, pops it right to right. you. Our Facebook page is growing rapidly, Mrs. Farmer, getting mm -hmm. a lot of new friends, but people are puzzled. It's very difficult. About how tough it is to navigate. It's very difficult. What do you have to do to get you, on there? You hit like. You are kidding me, no. Ms. Farmer. No, pretty easy. It's hard to believe, but a half hour has passed us by. Yes, it has. So that being said, don't worry, because we're going to be back next week, mm -hmm. but do worry that this is gonna be gone in about two and a half minutes. Are you, yeah. Because when the cameras go off, it's gonna get ugly. Are you gonna share, go slow? I give you one bite of that, okay. one bite of that, and all then right. I'll take the rest of it. All righty, I'm good with that. What's Farmer's all about? <laughs> good times. Good friends. And really good eats. We'll see you next week on Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen. To order a cookbook, email timfarmerck at gmail.com.